You can sit way down. Oh no! Look at his dog! Isn't he neat? Oh no! He hasn't been able to snug me and he's getting restless, but you know what? Pew. Day five was such a big day. We'd been shooting all day, all week. We started the day like going in the French Quarter and doing that scene. We just got like the whole cast to go to the French Quarter. I was just like, we're just gonna walk through. We're just, we're gonna interact. Give us a nod. Yeah, so we're good. All right, action. Zachary, stop looking at the camera. And it turned out exactly the way that I pictured it. We had Tyler there in full makeup for one shot, one undetectable shot. Show business, so you know. What, I thought you came here to change the world. There's a couple shots in the movie keeping in with religious theme, her massive thoughts about God. I'm trying to get her right in front of the church, cradling her head in the frame. We probably did more than any other take in the whole movie. Hypocrisy, take seven, take eight, take 10. Wait, sorry, where are we? We did not end up actually getting the shot either. Uh. <laughs> I had to take audio from another take because Evan stuttered over the one that worked. I will give the Panasonic GH4 this. It's not weatherproof. It's pretty close though. It got rain on. It was humid. We couldn't get the cigarette to light. It was so humid. Lighting the cigarette for me. Which I've never done before. Is it lit? Oh, my bad. <laughs> its batteries lasted all day. So surprised that it didn't overheat during this scene. Just the way that the humidity was in the air made the picture really clean and you can see little droplets of teeny bits of rain coming down. You can see the humidity coming off the street. You can see Lance's smoke really well. What I had them drink for the movie is Mad Dog 2020. I wanted the pink one. So they're actually drinking. For continuity, because I make a Kool-Aid the identical color and I would just fill it more in there. It was really important to me for some reason that I got like the actual click of opening it. As they're moving, their flashlights around in the scene, and it just kind of pops up in the little bits. I just wanted to create this spooky atmosphere, spirits and stuff behind them, without going like too over the top with it. I just wanted it to be like really visually interesting, and I loved this little corner of the beer garden with the green hands. When she puts up her hands, and you can see the bigness of her shadow, they give you a visual of the power of intention. As the movie goes, Julie has all these like big ideas about belief and morality and things that put together together a religion when she actually puts it to practical use it's bigger than her she didn't realize her own power it was the funniest emotion that i've ever had because it was the most emotionally physically exhausting day of the entire thing the healing scene was like the scene that i was looking forward to most in the whole movie and i was so over it by that point in the day and then i just like looked at the sheet and i'm just like like, this is my thing. I'm the leader. I'm the mom. We can't just call it a day. The second we got in there, energy just kicked back up. It was everything that I was hoping for. It was the funnest scene to shoot. I think that why the healing scene was my favorite scene to write, favorite scene to shoot, is just like, I want to shoot scenes that I think would be really fun for actors to play. Like, when we watched dailies that day, I was just like, this is it. Like, this is why I made the movie. Every shot was exactly what I wanted it to be. The shot that I'm low angle on Julie as she's being theatrical up on her soapbox, I had something very, very different in mind when I was writing the script and I didn't really realize what I would be dealing with at the location and we're in this huge room. And so I just decided low angle, one of my favorite shots of the whole movie. It gave me the creepiness that I wanted. It's Julie getting theatrically self-righteous, about to do her magic and it, ah, that shot was just so perfect. Perfect. There's smoke bombs in this because I just wanted to play with smoke bombs. They just look fucking awesome. Also did very much consider this was an actual concern of mine. I was just like, so this movie is about the dangerous side of the power of intention. We're doing some magic here. I think that might have actually been why we scheduled this scene as the very last scene of the day. Knowing me and the weird stuff that I've seen and done, the stories why I wrote a movie like this in the first place, there's a good chance we might actually conjure something Things, so let's make sure that we have like an exit strategy. Someone kicks the ball out of the room. 